It's your girl Elysia, aka E, making it look easy. Okay, so today I will be showing you guys. Well, this is a tester because I'm not going to do it on the actual shirt I already bought. Well, the shirt I already started drawing the SpongeBob and Patrick on. I want to make sure it's perfect. I'm all staring at you guys. Make sure it's perfect before I had to try two different styles of paint, fabric paint. And today I got the Martha Stewart. I really wanted the Liquitex. You know, no offense to Martha, but I want the Liquitex, so that's the one I did my research on. But, of course, they didn't have it at Michael's. Of course, when you're looking for something, that's when they don't have it. And I checked Walmart, they didn't have it either. But, Michael's did have the Martha Stewart um, fabric medium. So, I'm just going to, it's going to be like, it's water-based, non-toxic, non-toxic, shake well. Get that in there. Mix one part medium to two parts paint. So I already pre-measured that right here. It's kind of hard to see, but I bought these little cuppy things from, um, where did I buy them? From five and below, five dollars, obviously. Five below, I keep seeing five and below. But five below. Um, I have my brushes and my paint and my water here. And I also bought the Tulip brand. Tulip is what I usually use to actually make my fabric clothes like I did my other shirts with the pens with the markers so this time I'm actually doing the paint and I'm just gonna test and see if they how they look on the shirt and would they wash out you know of course they say fabric paint would not wash out but yeah they did say on the directions that I'm supposed to wash the shirt before I start but I really didn't have time for that so I didn't really care too much um I'm not not like I'm gonna wear this one I hope it still works out but I did iron it because I did say make sure you iron it, whatever, so I can get clean lines. So first I'm going to start with the Martha Stewart. So I think I'm going to measure the paint first. Two parts paint. I have about the basics from Michaels, you know, the Liquitex brand. Let me see if it's... Oh, people could really be stealing paint. They don't put no cover on it or nothing. Let's see, let's see. So I'm going to fill this up to two parts. That's a lot of paint. That is a lot of paint. Where did I measure? Whatever, let's see. Actually, let me do a smaller one. This is a lot. Of, actually, I'm going to use this for... I'm going to use it again, so it don't even matter. So I'm just going to fill it up. Let's see if I get it to even out. my spatulas thing. First it was a lawnmower and Max is barking at the turtle like Max has got nothing to do today. It's almost two parts. This whole measurement thing drives me a little crazy because I never know exactly what they want. I wish you could just mix them how, like the blending material, but this looks about right. So I know I just got to go up to here. So my dad just came. Shake this. Make it 
me check if it's open first. Should I smell this or is this like illegal to do? Shake, 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 shake. That should be good. Mm, let me try to do this as accurate as I can. So it looks like milk. So I did the paint first so I can, because you know this is liquid, the paint would just sink right past it, so no. I was like, let me do the paint first. It looks like milk. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's already, I think it's already blending, but let me stir it. Make sure I stir it real good. This. And I'm just gonna keep this blue to the side and just store it. I'm glad I bought these containers and not just like a use like a random paper cup or plastic cup because now I can save this blue for for later. Because I don't believe in wasting paint. Because it was like, don't want my mom to hear this, but four dollars for one paint. And but it was buy one get one free. Actually, it was five dollars for one. But it was buy one get one free. Yeah, she didn't hear me. She would have been like, what? Yeah. So that's how that. <laughs> I think I mixed it good. It looks nice. All right, so I'm going to wipe that. I'm going to make sure I read the directions, cover it up just in case. So it said wash paint, two parts paint, pre wash fabric. Didn't do that. After painting, air dry for 24 hours. Then heat set before washing. So I gotta iron it before I wash it. Heat set. Okay. Clean while wet with soap and okay, that's to wash off the brush. I didn't really okay. I didn't do that yet. After painting, air dry for 24 hours, and then I gotta iron it. Interesting. Alright, so let me dry my brush off. I don't need any more any extra water in it because it did not say use water. I'm just gonna do something random with the blue. So guys don't expect nothing spectacular. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Y'all comment below if I should show me painting my SpongeBob scenery. That's for my own enjoyment, so it'll go faster if I just like did it on my own. But if you guys want to want me to record and you guys watch me painting it, just let me know. Comment below. I was wondering why I was hot. I hit the fan. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I gotta wash this with soap and water when I'm done. Let me get some of that. Here we go. Definitely look very vibrant.
experimenting with it because I don't really like how the blending so much look. Like if I wanted to like, instead of adding two different paint colors, if I wanted to just like get a lighter color of this one and just spread it. So I don't like how choppy it looks, but it's not as bad. Especially if it come out right, then I would know to blend it with like white or something. Right now I'm just doing a tie-dye style just in case I want to wear it. Okay, that's it for that one. I'm gonna try the other one. I don't want to actually mess up all my other brushes. We're supposed to wash this out with soap. I'm gonna keep pressing paper towel, please. Thank you. I'm not say if I wear it, but if anybody wants this, just hit me up. I think it's a it's a small in kids though, so I don't know who this gonna think. But if you wear a small in kids and you like how this looks, I'll give it to you. I'll probably finish it and make it a tie dye shirt and just give it away. Let's see. Definitely not dressed to paint right now, so I'm trying not to like dry my clothes. So I'm gonna try the next one. I'm gonna do a different color so I can really tell the difference. Even though I know that the Martha Stewart was up there, I'm still gonna do a different color. Um, let's see, let's see. Purple. Okay, so this one, all I got to do is pre-wash fabric, place cardboard under fabric or in between layers. Remove cap and safely crash shape bottle well. Apply one to two coats of paint. So I have to apply multiple coats. Yes, um, Let me cover this up. Sticky. Trying to put 
too much. Probably got to put more, but. Yeah, definitely got to put more. This is going to be multiple coats. Let me see how this. It's not bad, but it's kind of faint. I'm definitely going to need a lot of this paint if I do this one. But this will be real cute. I might use both of them. If they both work, I might use both. But I already feel like I'm going to be using a lot of paint with this. Hey guys, I honestly hope that this one doesn't wash out because I don't I'm not really feeling this one. Like it's good if you're just doing like not even that because you waste a lot of paint. Like look at this. This is already like two three fours already. And it's like I don't know if I'm supposed to use water to spread it out. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I'm supposed to use water either. Yep, no. Look how it looks now. this um, I'm gonna let it dry for I know this one is 24 hours and this one is um, well you're supposed to paint it twice oh, I forgot about that let me see something guys hold on because they say one to two coats let me see
Mm. It's just so wet. You get what I'm saying? It's so watery. Like, it's too watery. I'm like trying to dry out my brush and see if it's like water still in the brush, but I'm literally just doing the, the paint itself is like very, I know it says water based, but I didn't know it was like as intense. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know why it started, rec stop recording. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop for today. I'm gonna wait 24 hours because this one is the uh, Martha Stewart is 24 hours and the tulip is 72 hours before it can be washed so i'm gonna wait 24 hours or yeah 24 hours before i iron them because it's a just to wash it so wait 72 hours and then after that i'll wait 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 a while 72 hours and then i'll wash them and see which one comes out which one looks better so far i hope to goodness gracious i hope to god that the martha stewart comes through for me you know what i'm saying plus it was a seven something dollars seven dollars this was the pack of the fabric tulips was $11 but I just don't like how watery it was like the water base it was but um yeah so we'll see I'll definitely post an update um comment anything that you feel like you want to know or you want to see and then after this if I find out I'll hopefully it's this one I'll start doing the Spongebob shirt for the giveaway at 100 subscribers I'm giving away a shirt it's already a Spongebob shirt but if you do not want Spongebob and you do win the raffle make okay so the thing is you're gonna screenshot that you subscribed and then you're gonna tag me in it on your story whatever Instagram Facebook tag me don't do Twitter I don't got a Twitter I don't got time for it and I don't got a snap I got a snapchat but I barely use it but yeah so tag me in the picture of you of it saying that you subscribe like you can do that and then when I reach 100 subscribers I'm just going to take everybody's name because I can't see who subscribed to my channel. I'm sorry, guys. I can't see everybody who subscribed to my channel. So, basically, I'm going to look at um, when you say subscribe. So, make sure you follow my Instagram and my Facebook. Well, mostly my Instagram. I'm stay, I stay on my Instagram. Well, not stay on it, but, you know, I go on it more than anything else. So, um, make sure you screenshot that you subscribe. Tag me in it on your story or on your page. On your page. Tag me on your page. Whatever. Either one. And then I'll write your name down. On a little piece of paper put it in the bucket shake it up have someone pick it out 100 subscribers you will win the shirt you can tell me what size you wear and then what character you want i know i have to sponge out one but if you want a bigger a different size whatever you can do your own character whatever but yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and have a blessed day amen all right, you guys, I just took this out the wash. As you can see, it still looks kind of moist and whatever. Actually, yeah, it is wet. And I'm waiting on the dryer now. But I just wanted to show you guys that none of them came out. So I was really happy about this one because I really want to use this one because I like how vibrant the color is. I think this one is the Martha Stewart. So um, some did get on the board when I was painting it, you know, but... Of course, they did tell me to put something between the shirts so it won't, you know, go through the shirt. So, good thing I did that. So, but everything stayed. I ironed it. I washed it. I actually spin rinse, you know, whatever. And came out really good. So, I'm going to start painting the shirt soon. Alright. If you like, comment, and subscribe.